welcome welcome to my three-day travel chronicles yes you heard right it's a three-day travel chronicles so i was on my way to montreal for kali got this picture i was so saddened by it my brother-in-law is in the hospital and it just wrecked my whole mood as he was the one that was gonna pick me up and so i was just so concerned about him the whole travel this is my bracelet i didn't get to put it on because when i put on neil zeton and cap so anyways i'm on my way downtown to the go bus center that's the bus that will take me to toronto and i'm finally downtown and it's my first time that i will be using this service someone told me about it and i must say it wasn't that bad so of course i am searching to find where is the bus like what zone do i go to i was catching the seven o'clock bus so i was just trying to find it out on the system which it was just such a mess this lovely gentleman helped me and told me zone 11 bus 16. <laughs> it seems like he was a regular anyways as i was waiting here's the bus union station 16 at zone 11 and it was time to board the bus now i didn't even know how much i think i was expecting to pay 13 dollars as per website and so guys look at this god would have had it that when i tapped my card you're seeing right a dollar 52 i paid to go to toronto hey <laughs> i think that's the perk of taking a city bus to downtown anyways so I went in the bus i didn't want to sit downstairs i wanted to go upstairs because i felt like it's probably safer and then the views we have to talk about the views as a vlogger i have to get the views in eeny meeny miny mosey there were so many spaces to choose from and i was like okay let me choose here like it was just so random like nothing out of you know Anyways, I sat down, I was settled, I was like, mm hmm this is the right, yeah, I can dig this. Anyways, as I wait for the bus to drive off, I started to admire my nails once more, and I'm like, you know what, my nail tech, she did that. <laughs> she did her thing, okay? So now we're leaving out, and nobody not pray again, like, man, no, the tradition just different. So I was praying in my heart, in my mind, and in my soul that God takes a safely to toronto free from accident and all danger and all of them something dear and of course i had my brother-in-law in mind just the same and i'm like oh my god god please i beg you you know i was just so sad about the whole thing and i was just on my way to toronto so excited to go to montreal for sure leaving hamilton for a little short while i mean i said jesus i saw hamilton did pretty i don't know it just so different maybe because you made the eye up i don't know anyways we're going on the highway now merging onto the lanes and thing and i'm like all right this is it time to embark on this travel that you'll be traveling for a long time because you're not gonna get a pickup when you reach in a Montreal, so you gotta do what you gotta do. Anyways, yes, guys, a Toronto is my reach. Yeah, man, in a less than 50 minutes, I kid you not. Like, I got to Toronto in about like 40, 45 minutes. I could not believe. Your yeah, man, shut a driver. Your yeah, man should do the road, should, should run the road, man. Tell you. Anyways, we're pulling up into the Union Station in Toronto. And this was actually downstairs. And when me, I said, geez, um, which one am I going to go now? Because I always go to Union Station, you know, guys. But always upstairs. But never go downstairs yet. So I said, all right. Good thing I can read. I just follow the sign them and do what I'm supposed to do. So me and my party you now, we are come out. And we're going to do what we're supposed to do. Yeah, you heard that right. Me and my party in the blue shirt right there. So I joke, me guys, I don't know the man from my kind of paint. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm looking at the side. I was like, all right, cool. I'm to the zone. Let's head upstairs. So I'm taking the escalator. And I'm like, okay, this is not really bad. You know, like I thought it would have been more tedious to get my way upstairs. Here am I heading upstairs. By the way, um, this is where I saw persons even taking the bus to Detroit. So there are buses here that goes from Canada to America, of course. You have to have your passport and your visa if you are not a Canadian for sure. 
Um, so I saw them checking that there before they embark on their journey. And I started to feel a little bit hungry. I just wanted to check that my zone is where it's supposed to be. Went downstairs to the Timmy's. After me, stand up and wait in another line. Oh, long guys, got hungry. Kill me, you know. The lady says only beverage and donut them have. Anyways, so may I walk go back upstairs now. Come here, say, so, all right. Them not have no sandwich or no wrap or nothing with Timmy's normally have. I was so disappointed. I'm not going to lie. But you know what pissed me off even more, guys? This door that I'm going through, the lady could have told me, just go the opposite end and you'll find the Timmy's that actually have the sandwiches. So apparently, I went downstairs to Timmy's, but there's another Timmy's in the basement. And nobody told me about it until I went all the way back upstairs to where the buses are. And I was there complaining and a security guard was like, you should have went to the basement. Anyways, like, I don't know. I, I, it was just such a mess, guys. Anyways, let's take in the beauty here. It, I don't know. It was just so nice. Like, it was so aesthetic. I wanted to take a photo here, but psh. Anyways, this is where the Tim Martins was, all the way in the basement, but I got McDonald's instead. They had a whole food court down there. So my Timmy's peppermint tea and my McDonald's, and we are about to board the bus for Montreal. Of course, they're checking our tickets and all of that shenanigans. And then now it's time to head onto the bus. It's a six hour bus journey which will stop in Kingston, Ontario for a little break. And we're just trying to find our seats and these two were taking forever. They finally got it together and decided that, okay, they're gonna sit there. And then now it was my time to choose a seat. Um, I just really wanted to sit down really quick. Oh my God, this was the worst seat that I took. Those two girls, oh my God, they were so loud on the bus the whole time. Anyway, I'm getting myself sorted out. This is my Mickey D's. I think I got a um, sausage um, sandwich and my tea is already done and yeah. And I'm just ready for this ride. I'm just totally ready. Bus was leaving out. I know six hours on the clock. I was leaving at 10. I should get there for, was it three or four? I don't even remember. But at this point I was like, okay um i'm gonna call my sister when i'm almost there so i can map my journey to get to her house because i don't have a ride anyways guys see you in part two welcome to part two of my travel chronicles and i'm finally leaving toronto at this point i took my laptop with me to edit but god no one ever edits a thing i'm sorry let me eat my breakfast because i was just really hungry right i was trying to show you guys a glimpse of the road but that never did a workout then when i checked myself in the camera i said all right everything on part but then remember philip i miss a lot jesus mm. prize up prize up anyways um looking at the view and everything i'm like okay we got to kingston ontario so that's the rest stop for the mega bus we basically stop for like 30 minutes and we buy food and stuff and at this point we buy my food and i was going into the wrong bus like oh me never realized that i came in a red bus and not a blue bus my shame shame killed me when the driver said you do not belong to this bus ma'am anyways i'm heading on to my bus um because the 30 minutes was up and i had a little skittles with me i love my little sweets and the ready just good the ready good anyways we reach a montreal that's mickey d's and i'm like okay not bad actually guys we got to montreal quicker than we were supposed to which i was happy for that's dairy queen and now we're heading downtown. By the way, guys, I literally just passed where my sister lived, but the bus never gonna let me off. Nakiro, if my ball out one stop, bus stop, I'm just not gonna let me off. The place look different though. Me on the costume, I always sit and make a bus at night. But it looked really nice. Anyways, I got to downtown Montreal. 
and my sister was very surprised that I got there so quickly. So I'm like, all right, time for the real journey start now. Because kid you not, I don't know where I'm going. So I'm heading upstairs into the bus center. And I'm like, okay, I need to take out my phone and call my sister. Of course, this is me. But tired. I'm tired on the journey just to start. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm here browsing. And guys... Not care what time I come in Montreal, morning, noon, or night. Them people are always a skate door. Them skate, no? Every time I come to this place, they're always skating. Anyways, took on my phone and said, okay, I need to call my sister to see where to go. And hats off to her. She was directing me the whole time. So she's like, okay, go through this door, go downstairs, go, um to your left go to your right you know she was just giving me directions and by the way guys she i called her from the hospital so she's in the hospital right now um talking to me and directing me where to go she's like follow the crowd man follow where the crowd is you're gonna buy your ticket so i went in the line and i'm there waiting to buy my ticket and you know me like for planet it so i'm like i'm gonna start sure both players and just say, all right you're gonna go through here you're gonna tap a card there you know that type of thing and we were even running jokes and stuff and she was making me laugh at times as well and she too she would chuckle amidst the situation of her hubby in the hospital anyways after the lady tell me how much time where to go in, I must still end up go to the wrong place, guys. So I went down the escalator. <laughs> only to see I was on the wrong side of the metro, where the metro should stop. So I had to go back up the stairs and around to where I should go. Right? So my sister had already sent me the map so she was now discussing to me okay ensure that you get off at such and such stop so i went in our chat pull up the map and she's like yeah lionel grew lionel grew don't miss a stop get off the stop real quick because the metro is real fast and you know she was just ensuring that i had it all together hey guys i'm so tired so i'm in montreal I'm about to take a train, a metro, underground metro, for the first time, and not for the first time. I took it back in 20, I remember what year that my sister and I and all of us went to Six Flags, but that was a long time ago. It's my first time taking it by myself. So, um, she told me, say, I don't lose my ticket because I need it for the bus. As soon as the train comes and the door open, up on quick. And the third stop I should come off and it's gonna sound a little bit funny but I should mark it it's the third stop but see me come off at the wrong stop um yeah actually Philip was supposed to pick me up but a little bit of sad news he had to be rushed to the hospital so Shelly's at the hospital with him from four o'clock this morning it's now about 5 p.m. He's in the hospital. He's not feeling well. They're gonna admit him. A lot of stuff is going on um, that I don't want to, you know, because it's it's not like it's a meeting or a colleague or whatever. I wouldn't want to willingly share that, you know. But I'm just keeping him in my prayers and yeah. So I think. I'm trying to find my way to their house so I'm gonna be using buses and trains and the whole nine yards so yeah this is what the train station look like and this is my bus tickets I need to put it up so I can have it for the bus now this is the train and listen how loud it is. As my sister like me used to but scared ya? Fred? <laughs> Yes, 
Georges Vallier. Then you saw me hang on guys i'm holding on to dear life i was so scared i'm telling you but may i make sure some alert i'm a dumb miss lionel grew lionel grew Got to Lionel Grew, called my sister, showed her the map, showed her I'm here. She's like, all right, you're gonna take the escalator. You're gonna go up the escalator, turn left, go up the stairs. And when you go up the stairs, you're gonna go through the exit. And she was just, trust me, she's a trooper, checking in on me, being there for a hubby, checking in on the kids at home. You know, she's a real trooper, I'm telling you. So she's like, okay, when you go up these escalator, turn left when you go outside stay to your left don't take too much left left you know it was just so funny and comical in the moment and we sure did had a good laugh so at this point she's saying okay look out for the bus there's the bus she's like the bus is gonna leave you i started to run but it wasn't leaving the guys she was just teasing me right um i used the same ticket that i got from the metro into this bus and the driver was just showing me where to put the ticket and all of that shenanigans and then i was trying to find my seat boy the bus full anyways i got to my seat and all the lady the pan make sure you don't come off of the bus before time come off at the last stop <laughs> your stop is the last stop and she kept repeating that guys and she's like anyways enjoy your ride it's gonna be an hour long so make sure you vlog get all the content in <laughs> and i'm like okay see you soon anyways i'm in the bus and i'm like all right guys it was really an hour long i kid you not i was enjoying the scenery though anyways i got off the bus at this place called um saint anne de bellevue or something like that hopefully i pronounced it right i still had more travel to do but I was just too tired at this moment, so I stopped vlogging at this point. You guys, I'm tired. Oh my God, I'm so tired. Whew. So after two buses, a train, and another bus, I'm almost there. I'm almost there, but I'm so, 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 so tired. So I'm heading to the house. Shelly and um, Philip is still at the hospital. I think I told you guys he was being admitted so this makes me really sad and uh, much more last week she has shown another couple camp anyways it makes me really sad and um, just a fair um, pray up for sure that's my head my I'm sure. I don't know the breeze just as I'm tired I'm going to sweat walk up and down I'm tired hold on my sister track on me I don't even remember what I was saying to you guys, but um, my ear blew out. It's everything just a like one back to this area. After all this traveling, I would have reached already, but I don't know. It was sometimes this was very unexpected, guys. If I'm not seeing me, not hear me, right? May I try to unravel my ear piece? This was very unexpected, I must say. Um, on a side note, Kali doesn't know that I'm on my way. She doesn't know I'm coming. I texted her like normal. It's funny, last night she asked me, Mom, when are you coming for me? And I'm like, one day, one day. <coughs> I didn't tell her it would have been today. Um, so yeah. I want to pee so badly. So I'm getting a ride to her house. Um, so I'm waiting on that. <laughs> and I'm going to call my sister in the meantime. Not the sister. Not the one here in Montreal. My other sister. 
you know, some of us is a people over there, so. I'm going to call the one in America. The older one, not the younger one. But, yeah, I want a piece so bad. I can't wait to reach the Shelly, to pee, to sit down, to be it, to, to do everything. Today was so eventful. <sighs> and then I'm back out by a morning before the cock. My mommy, that's said before cock can put on him jazz. <laughs> Before Kakyamputanim draws, I'm on my way to Ontario. That's so early. Speaking of which, um, I'm getting a ride from Toronto to Hamilton. And I'm also, that ride is also picking up my roommate at the airport. Remember, I was telling you guys that it's her first time traveling. She's never traveled before. And um, so she's never traveled before and so my little community that i have in hamilton we put together we brain and came up with something so somebody knows somebody who knows somebody who can do the pickup and i'm like hey it so happened that she booked her flights on the day that i'll be in toronto so boom she gets her ride so the drive gonna pick me up first and then we're gonna head to the airport for her then we're go gonna head to hamilton at or abiding place i want to pee anyways the next clip will be when i get to shelly's which you won't see shelly and philip you'll see the kids i'm gonna vlog guys i'm tired very tired so right now, I think the greatest thing would have been, I think I put in some clips from my mini vlog. That's the best thing I could ever do. Yeah. Reached to my sister's house. Kali had no clue I was coming. I pressed the doorbell and I wait for the door to be answered. Look at her response. She was shocked. She couldn't believe mama's here. Your mama's here. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. You're one cool man. <laughs> Catch up. It's already washed. Yeah, she said she was shaking to see me. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, she said she liked my nails. You look nice, don't you? <laughs> see you guys? She said, well, you guys just saw it. <laughs> you I thought tell I was much. dreaming. You thought you were dreaming? Yeah. Mm, I need to tell you, you something too that just happened. Oh, like off camera. Alright, so come back. Hi. So did you reach out? How you? <laughs> what? <laughs> I know you didn't. I know you didn't. <laughs> I thought she was going to come like two days because I'm teaching this and then I go, I changed and she put my clothes in the back. Thank you. Thank you. So you just reach in? Just, just reach. I'm tired, auntie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me take one, one bus trip down to Don't Hamilton. Mm -hmm. One bus from Hamilton to Toronto. Mm -hmm. Then one bus from Toronto to Montreal. Mm -hmm. Then the train. Mm -hmm. Then one yes. next bus. Then one taxi. Okay, hold on here. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. You got fatter. What do you say when you see me? You got fatter. Hey! Turn on your Auntie, where is the mobile down with? Yes. Yeah, you do. See my you look no? nice. You look nice. <laughs> yes. All right. Stop your, fell, no? stop your donkey in this. How we are doing this? Me have all kind of hair. They make me make wig. Make and wig. And a wig something there. How will you take my wig? Different ear, not these. They may have bread in here. <laughs> Who the hell do? The fact that I catch You need wait. bundles to yeah. make wigs. Bundle? Yeah. Oh my God, you look like your mom. What is bundle? I'm not sure. Wait, yeah. you know, no, we... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> 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 Turn out test? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me <my> wig. <laughs> hey, Kali. Look again, see if you see any more here down there. 
Just give me Sas. I should say. Oh, my finger, the finger, yeah, the finger. I snap with my purse. I snap with my purse. You know what's up, the finger, yeah. 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 She, she wears these glasses every Sunday. That's not the one I wear. Is you it? wear that one on Sunday. No, I wear the square ones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's got that's it. Pretty girl, what is this for me? What is this for me? You know, I'm the candy. We keep changing purses. <laughs> Sona really everything that I said on really, because no they come on the one candy. I said I changed the purse, so there's no candy in this which purse. Shoe should so I some wear? Of the candy. Which shoe should I wear? This one. Because Pity girl, which one look better to you? <laughs> yeah, because through the foot swell me having Oh yeah. Yeah, let's figure out which one to wear. When we did young and was somebody always have the problem here. Yes. <laughs> but, but no, it's worse. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's why we have to wear the lamb frog. Black or the green? Black or the mm -hmm. green? Who said that? Choose no, that's, no, that's not that's not the, the dad. <laughs> the that's dad. The, that's <laughs> the, dad. the bag. The bag are the shoes. You see, me no match. Me just buy my and me no match. I always, I always. Tad, wait, wait, wait. Come here, come show me how to use this on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's oh, not. Can't treat you know, not a bad mm -mm. Sound. <laughs> eh? Oh my mm -mm. goodness. Wait, sit down. No, I'm a close door. I'm, I'm in front of Gabby. I'm in front of Auntie Nana. I'm mm -hmm. right here sitting down at church. Mm -hmm. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, come with that. Yeah, I'm head up to <laughs> Now, hear how she does like this. And I try to do like this. I hear this. I'm just. No, sir. Mm -mm. It's oh, true. Stars. Oh, stars. Mm. Every Sunday, mm -mm. in the instant I do like this, that's the head up. So, how come I don't know? I'm teaching Sunday school. I'm going to pop out. Me old school now. Yes, yeah, she is. Is that what happened that Sunday? Your hand shoot. I don't use no hand out there. Come on, that's what she put it on that Sunday. It's not true. <laughs> Sometimes it's... you do. You're like, oh, when when she's at Sunday school, you're the kid, okay? <laughs> don't play with me. <laughs> <laughs> I will call daddy on you. Oh, that is Emery. 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 Every Sunday morning, don't play with me. Food. I said, "Don't play with me." I call daddy. I can slap you now. Yeah, because I have, I have the authority you. to do that. No, not kill me. Mm -mm. Daddy, daddy, say something. Hey, them take it like you walk down at Sunday school. Everybody playing. They're not taking serious. Don't take me serious. Nana, Nana, you're like dad. Say something. It's like, uh. Listen, and then leaves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling. Yeah. Look, um, Emery's father oh. head down there. So we say, okay, now you gotta hear something from. What name again? I don't remember the name what we call him. But anyway, we like Williams mm -hmm. or William? something. Yeah. But oh, anyway, yeah, Glen Roy. Roy. <laughs> so <laughs> we come round and say, Misha gay. Um, that's <laughs> See, <laughs> <that>. <laughs> See guys, we just have that button. <laughs> what did he come around and say? He oh. asked if he they were listening, and then you guys said no, and then he's like, listen, and then you like tell them to listen, and he's like, listen. Listen. <laughs> they're reading the Bible, right? I'm almost half asleep, and you're like, stand up. Stand up. <laughs> And then you open your Bible, you're like, you know what Nana does to me? She's like, read this. <laughs> but I'm reading off the board, so you read the Bible. When you're in church and they're saying something, you're always like, praise the Lord. And then you praise. always finish their sentences. I don't finish their sentences, they do the thing. And then you're like, shit. <laughs> 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 I see a Korean go.
time you go on the each time you go on the mic, she's always the pastor has to say, Yeah, 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 Speak louder. <laughs> oh, she talk like she dainty. I'm dainty. Oh, wow. Don't you know that? <laughs> no, sir. No, I make noise. Guys, me don't don't make some Don't tea. it, do I make noise in church. Yeah, no. And yeah. then when you're I look behind church. me and you're like... <laughs> 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 I don't know those things. I don't do those things. No, I don't. You yeah, lady says she look behind the eye and that's just it. I don't, I don't, I don't do those things. Guys, mm. I'm going to go make some tea. I'm thinking, um, <laughs> what kind of tea you not have now, Minty? I think Minty's upstairs. Then I forgot but you have to show her where the thing they keep. Fix my yeah. Take it out! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm glad in the ear, huh? Hey, I know how to do that now. Yeah, I know. Why? You see, like when she did come here, when she did come here, I didn't know Wait, nothing about no um, patwa. I used to speak the good British English. You're there. Yes. She's always playing with her wash, too. The, the girl sit beside me talking to her friend. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting down there with her. Oh, you didn't tell me anything that she, you shut up about. Uh huh, because I don't know what she was talking about. So I said, What are you doing? And she says something. And I said, Jesus, speaking to me. Speaking to me. <laughs> because then you're talking, laughing. I want to laugh too. Guys, she couldn't understand Pato one time. Oh, she couldn't I mean, understand it. She couldn't speak it. Yeah, I used to. We I used to like it. It just still sound weird trying to talk it. We have a skit, okay? Say what? We have a skit. She only know French and English. Then people don't know. We have a skit. Okay? What skit? It's a, about you, yeah. like a movie. I make a make my tea. Yeah, yeah you want your tea. Go get tea. Tired man. I put my thing down. <laughs> Come along, kids. Come along. Yes, Lord. Come along, kids. Why oh, said that? When you're the first place I went is downstairs to Nana, my grand aunt, and we were just there messing around with her. Kali's in her wig. Her great grand nieces are rocking her wigs right now. And it was just a fun, light moment. Catch the vlog for that. Then I decided to go upstairs to check in on my Jordy, my JB, and my baby Gabby to let them know, hello, your aunt is here. Because they too had no clue that I was passing through. Hey, Mirai, you know. Anyways, watch this. You oh, feel the height. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I'm almost taller than you. Hey boy. <laughs> oh different. Look <Little> chubby. <laughs> hey Jordan. How you Jordan say you look chubby. What? Chubby. Hi mama. She's mm -hmm. mad for the camera. Overall, I was just so happy to be around my family members. I was so sad that, you know, Philip was not at home. Shelly had to be at the hospital with him. But nonetheless, I'm just happy we're all here. Hello, baby. What's your name? What's my name? Gabby, she's not Marquilla. Don't tell me. What's my name? I don't know your name. Oh. You look like you're in a hotel with that lighting, though. Me? <laughs> On your phone. The Somebody tell Gabby my name. Orange. It's Auntie mm. Mm. <laughs> Gabby said mm. Mm. Auntie Man. Auntie Manda. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's Auntie Rashane. Yeah, man. That's a forget. Auntie Rashane. Say, and Ailey always put. Say Rashane. <laughs> you come back from this again? Where did I come from? <laughs> it's Rashine. Rashine. Rashina. Rashina. Which one is your Which one was your favorite sister? Hmm? Which one is your favorite sister? I know you sister. have one. Yeah. It's my mom, isn't it? We don't have a favorite sister. Mom but they ask me who I'm close to. 
Mama said mm -hmm. each time she leaves or stays home, you want to stay with her. So I'm guessing it's my mom. Talk to in, in here. But she asked me which one of them make closer to. Auntie, which one is closer? Your mother. Talk to. This is my tooth in here, Yami. Yeah. I thought that to tell her. Talk to me. And then, um. Auntie, me talk. The older one. And then, um, Misha. Oh, yeah. Mom has another sister. But it's not her sister. Mm -hmm. The doctor take out tack two and put it in there. They're going to have to take I'm, off my gum. Gabby, rest your mouth. Okay. And, <laughs> and I have <laughs> one too. <laughs> I see me tack. Gabby, Gabby, rest your mouth. Okay, think about your words. What is it saying? Oh, yeah, Tass is taking out I her have gum. one too. Like that. It told me to take out my key and put it in there. It's <laughs> Auntie gonna leave it. Oh really? At the dentist? Yeah. <laughs> it's all dentist. Yes. Them tickle tighties? Her? No, she's not even close. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. My teeth do the dentist. Gabby, they they just cleaned your teeth. Oh, oh they cleaned your teeth. Mm -hmm. They're just they the way she came with your hands. Okay, okay. That's why yeah. they clean my teeth. I See went way she... down mm -hmm. to tell that the it, the table moved it. Down and up. Okay. Like my tooth was the way up there. So down. they brush your teeth up and down. No, they don't have the toothbrush. They only gave me a toothbrush. Oh, they only gave you a toothbrush. She's, yeah. So what? A new if toothbrush. you sit here with Gabby, you're not a gonna finish toothbrush. until next she's, week. She's talking about how Haley took her toothbrush when she went to the dentist. Yeah. Uh -huh. Her teeth, you and her to tell they were mine. You have the. It had nothing in there, but it took the But teeth. what did the dentist use to clean your teeth? That's what I'm asking you. Um, I don't have bracelets on my teeth. Don't have I bracelets? You mean bracelets? I thought those that have bracelets on his teeth. Bracelets. Bracelets. I thought those that have one too. Bracelet. But I'm now. I'm getting my bracelets. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking out my gum because my tooth is not coming out. Uh -huh. Someone's in the yeah. Someone's in. I can't keep it up my mother. I <laughs> hear mom, she talk about it. Like, yeah, talk about daddy. No. She tell her, oh, I really mom. want to be on her tummy. And normally, like, yeah, daddy's girl. Yeah. I saw, I saw dad. I saw him. I p oh. You love daddy? Yeah. You look like. But tell her he put her I eyes up to the. Her teeth don't yeah. do it. Her yeah, I know. Who's your favorite parent? Yeah. Mom or dad? Mom Guys, dad. listen to this. Oh, nice. Good answer. Who is it? She said mom and dad. Mom. And dad does <laughs> take me to a park a lot of times. And so he's attended in my home. This but is I think it's a park. Put you a lock on the door. Put the so lock on the door. door. Come into the house? No. <laughs> It's, I, 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 I feel like You'll I see her bag on the step of this. I think it's your mom. I'm gonna film you because oh, I don't want to film you. Just you film for me nice, girl. It's mom! Traveling for from this morning, yeah. Did uh, you sleep in the car? Huh? Did you sleep in the car? Did I sleep in the car? Yeah. I tried to sleep in the bus, but it was so tight. So tight to sleep in the bus. Yeah, because um, I couldn't push back the seat to sleep, and then a lot of people were talking in the bus. 
to register with me. Yeah, then that why you can't sleep on the bed mm -hmm. uh, on the top. Uh -huh. And then I took the train. Took the train and not know the. Have you ever been on a train? Yeah, to tell mommy I have to take that to a doctor. But I, did you go on a train? Yeah, you belong. We went to two. We went to two trains. Mm. Yeah, we nice. are walking there. Me and Tewa. Oh wow! At Auntie House. Tewa there. Our mommy just picked me up there mm -hmm. and her groom yeah, back you know. to home. Mm -hmm. And her groom back to home. Wow! Really? Yeah, and then let me. Careful, Colleen. With Auntie and Pat. And Mangy Burn Ely and Tess. Can you hold the ball in your hand? Where did all of the Why? What? The ball should be on the, the counter. It is on the counter. Oh. She can't eat crackers, um, Tess? Yes. Okay. Just don't talk like I did, Daddy. Yes, please I don't. don't. Take, your, you take, take, it, take your time and chew it, please. Because that one there <laughs> didn't and she nearly died on me. Mr. Tasma frightened. I had ten happened? seconds to live. She literally could have breathed. A good thing the lady that I was um that was there, she's a nurse. Cause my dad hit her in her back. <laughs> but she wasn't breathing none at all. So the lady had to come around her like this and pump her belly. Pump, pump, pump. And then the lady was like, breathe, Kelly, breathe, breathe. Breathe. She's, she did that for like six seconds. And then we just see the big chunk of crackers. One like about from ear so to about ear so fly out of her throat. Mr. Kali, you not chew crackers? You just cut them small? <laughs> mm -mm. I choked on a fry once. A fry. I choked on bacon. You choked on popcorn. Bacon? Three times. Oh, I choked on It's popcorn, popcorn yeah, for like, me. She was like... <coughs> oh. See our bacon. Yeah. You know, the, you know the little gold part in the popcorn. The corn. Yeah, the corn. Yeah. That. It's stuck around here somewhere. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Last month. Hey, you got to know. Last. Ooh, Haley, stop farting. Haley, say excuse me when you fart. I said that to me when I burp. Hmm. I said that to me when I burp. You say excuse me when you burp. In a bathroom and a lot of places. Okay. <laughs> and nobody here to tell nobody what in the bathroom. Are you doing the muffin? Oh, you can't look at me. Maybe you meant bye. She's like, bye, Kali. I'm going to miss you, Kali. Because you see Kali packing up. Aww. Like it just, it's her. What? Gab Gab. I might see her. I may be seeing her in two years too. Okay. Cause like I might be doing something else in the rest of You want to cry? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You used to cry when Cuddy's leaving. Yeah. When you were two and You remember that? Yeah. And you bawled your eyes out. Right? Remember the time when I was doing the prank that I didn't see her? Mm-hmm. Oh, God, we can't do that ever again. Yeah, that was so heartbreaking. Yeah, last time, I got Cuddy and I got Tess and Ellie 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 and the talk done. The talk talk. The think about done and didn't. tell them to do a play on talk. Oh, right, but better. Now who just do and be but now. So Gabby, you just work on makeup story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Gabby, man. Guys, tired, tired, tired. Khalid's packing up her clothes. I wish I could help her. But after the day, after the day, I had to get my cable if I finger. At least she made me some soup. She made me some back soup, which is good. Um, 
um, I'm gonna hit this. Hey, my look. I need to get some rest. Guys, at no point did I sleep on my journey. At no point. The people them would have taught them, taught them, taught them, taught them, taught them. They know when for dawn. Them they know say all right, dawn. Them talk right through the journey and one other time them all I sing. Um, I go okay, that one other time them I sing the anthem. They don't know when for dawn in the bus. Anyways, guys. Um, Auntie Mita, let's say what in the box. Come Mita, guys, because there are other aunties here. So, let's play what in the box. What's in the box? It's the box, sir. Right? What's in it? Oh, a star. Ooh. You are a star. When I, when I do like this, it come out. And see, I already have to be like that. Look, die. Look, die. Look, die. Look. And then, hey, when me tell me tell you, I'm a little different. I'm here. Look, free coats. I'm gonna show her. Yeah, compared to what it was this morning. I'm going to borrow one at Auntie Nancy. Guys, I'm going to borrow one at my grandma at Nancy. Because I don't bring no Nancy. Mm. I just want something to sleep on. Huh? Guys, my nephew said, my little Kelly, chubby. Yeah, you're so chubby. Box. Box. <sighs> I don't even know if it's at this point. Because I wasn't even supposed to be blocking on all of that spot. Okay, What are you looking for? Oh, just make sure you put it neatly in the um in the suitcase. Alright. Welcome, welcome to part three of the travel series. So my sister is taking us to the bus station. Um, I'm not going to downtown this time. I'm actually going to Kirkland in Quebec. Um, it's easier for my sister to drop us off there and I'd already booked my ticket there. I went to check to ensure that we were at the right center and yes, we were. So I was just heading back to the car to add a few items that my grandma gave me. She gave me this nice purple looking um curtain and i needed to stuff it into that suitcase <laughs> honestly only one piece one panel could hold so that's me trying to stuff it though like me try it out me try me beat it me bang it me zip it i did a lot but anyways i finally got it in closed the door and then i gave kelly a muffin that i had for her that i totally forgot <laughs> But she said it was good anyway. This is my little fit and thing. Y'all know the little top and stuff. Alright guys, quickly, quickly. So, I'm waiting on the bus. My sister there right there. So, we're seeing. Philip, you see? She's so sad. We all are. Because Philip is in the hospital still. But, um, waiting on the bus. Kelly say, um, Mom, my legs are so thick. And then, <laughs> you guys, I know what's my reaction after that. I'm gonna stop watching my man. It's when people watch my never but I wait, guys. I just <laughs> drop it so brap so next week. No, no, leave my man. The mind is content, right? I'm telling you, on a food, make me put on weight and I'm a content. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, somebody are waiting on the bus. Look on her courting. Oh god, I'm gonna want to look at sneakers a while ago. See, um, pepper pie spirits. Oh god, feel it very see. I'm gonna go stay, but she said no, she don't want me to stay. <laughs> she don't want me to stay. Ha <laughs> ha 
and the bus is here. <laughs> the bus reached, guys. Anyways, the bus came and my sister was helping us with the bag. Oh my god, I love her so much, guys. Look at her. Keep her in your prayers, man. The bus was here. Little did I know that this stop meant that the bus was already full. Anyways, it was time to say goodbye. They were kissing and everything. And then it was time for me to hug my little big sister. And we go, Mwah! and then she's like, kiss me too. <laughs> I love her so much. So we went in the bus immediately. Um, Kelly went upstairs to find a seat because you know we love sitting high up. But as I said, this bus was coming from downtown Montreal, so it was already full with people. We were not satisfied with the seat, so we went downstairs. That's my sister. <laughs> She literally called me and she's like, look out your window. You're going to see me. You're going to see me. Look, look, look. So I told her to hang up so that I could video the content. And that's her. By the way, she was on the phone right now with her hubby. She was about to head home, bed, made some breakfast for him, take it to the hospital to stay there with him for the day. So I was just watching her and I was praying over her blood coverage for her and her family in Jesus name on our way. I will even stop the bus and make Jesus peace. Let's just for Cornwall and start getting ready now. Thank you. Listen to me. The bus stop everywhere. Eh, like this drive took us like seven hours and something. Every minute this bus stop here. Brookville. Brookville stop is here. Passengers for Brookville can start getting ready now. Thank you. As you could see in the last clip, Kali was sleeping already. Girl tired. Look like a girl to the trouble. Like, <laughs> girl tired, man. Ladies and gentlemen, we're approaching Kingston. Kingston bus terminal is here. Passengers from Kingston can start getting ready now. As you may know, we'll be changing drivers here in Kingston. So you don't have to change bus. It's only a driver change. And we also be taking a little break. So for those of you continuing further from here, you've got about 35 minutes. So basically your new departure time from here, same bus, different driver will be at 10.30. If you desire to step out of the bus, no problem. Just please make sure ins be inside the bus by 10.30. Again, here is Kingston. At this point, I wish you a good continuation and thank you. Thank you, sir. So, you know, say me with my uncle belly self, we are loaded the food because we're hungry when we're in the breakfast from morning, guys. So, really and truly, we're hungry. Walk out, my girl, walk out. Walk out, my girl, walk out. <laughs> Anyways, we found this at a convenience store and we were browsing. We're like, nah. We're not feeling it. And God know it looked like say Tim Martin's timing. God know. Anyways, we're in Tim Martin's waiting to order. I don't remember what we were saying here, but I know I was saying something funny. I'm always so goofy, guys. Like me, I'm always goofy and I try to make people laugh and stuff like that. Got our tea from Timmy's. And then we got our sandwiches and stuff. And we were heading back to the bus because we don't want the bus leave me. Yes. I went on the right bus this time. <laughs> so Kali was putting on her sanitizer and stuff. We're getting ourselves sanitized before we eat. This is me. Um, I was packing the bus like we want to go about four seats downstairs. Like I say, going to travel with kids still, right? So I ordered the sausage belt at Tim Morton's without the egg. And it was Kali's first time trying it. And she loved it. She was like... This is actually good. That's the other bus, guys. So <laughs> that's when we do the exchange. Anyways, my nail tech once more. Big up yourself. Loving it. We're back on our way to Hamilton. And of course, the bus had to stop again. Like this was in Scarborough, I think. They stopped at the library or something like that. I'm gonna say, all right, well, I'm gonna look bum. Is our next stop that again? I'm mean, gonna say, no, man. Look like it's the wrong bus this I come on. Anyway, feeding myself face, sorry. Um, we were then playing around with filters to see how the filters look. This is the cartoon character filter. <laughs> Watch dimples. 
<laughs> Look at Lily. <laughs> oh my God. Anyways, it was time to get off the bus soon. Oh, this is the GO train. We took it once coming from, I think, Milton. And of course, what is Toronto without traffic? Like, anyways, so this traffic made me sleepy. We were both feeling sleepy, but must say, I will not sleep. I will not sleep. I will not sleep. Bam, my drop asleep. No, sir. Let them give me peritella or dropsy. Like, what's wrong with me? Anyways, it was just a little nap, like about five, ten minutes nap. Got up saw that we're almost at the bus station i was so happy for this because a long time may drive long time may travel i travel to montreal and back in two days can you imagine like i left the saturday early six o'clock go to montreal and come back the next day i was beat out my tire this is me collecting our bags and heading to the garbage can to throw away our garbage and just about to get settled until our ride gets here yes guys are here right right man not hit no go boss go back to hamilton but tired man so here we are my ride got here so we were um going out to go get a ride there he is so anyways so we're now on our way to home Oh my god that felt so good to say to home <laughs> yeah man will beat the road in a road off a beat out man but then we had to make a quick stop at the airport to collect um well not collect sound like parcel to um <laughs> to pick up my housemate slash roommate if you watch my vlog you know what i'm saying so my housemate was coming up from jamaica and i had to go pick them up so this is me looking for my housemate, trying to find, you know. Um, so my housemate finally got here and we were helping to put the luggages in and stuff. And I don't remember what was going on here, but it was mad funny. The whole ride. We stopped at Timmy's again. <laughs> I'm telling you now. Timmy's time, you know. And now we are finally in Hamilton. Hey. Yes, guys, my reach home. That is Jackie that you're seeing there. And her hubby pulling up. Anyways, bye. Okay. Huh? Yes, trust me. Very long ride. A double whole night. And then we stopped at Jackie's house. <laughs> <laughs> you stopped at Tim Martin's. Hey, yes. Tim Martin. And we stopped at what? Tim Tim Martin. Martin. So, yes, the driver got me a coffee. Here's the driver got me a coffee. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Show them the driver. Show them the driver. Right. Wanted to pull it back down? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. yeah. But how is that beautiful oh, here? <laughs> so we're versatile. Guys, I got the microwave, but it took up too much counter space, guys. <laughs> We don't have no counter space. We don't have none for do. No look at equipment. No look at prep. No look at you know. You know. And I'm gonna push this into the corner. And it just, it just look uncomfortable. And even if I remove this and put this to the side here, it still takes up a lot of space. I'm tired, girl. Mega sleep. Love you. <laughs> So I'm gonna return it to Walmart tomorrow and get a smaller one. But it's really pretty. Mm. How are you liking? I love it. It's great. It's really comfortable too. It's really comfortable? Nice. We have a lot of cleaning up to do. <laughs> oh, this is the finished thing guys. Even this show though. So this is what it's looking like in it's here. It's as tall as me. Good. At least I can reach it. Perfect. Your snacks them can go pants up too. They Open the next side. Heavy stuff at the bottom. Look at the panda book I see. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, so my roommate is here. My housemate is here, but she's not ready to come on camera. She's not ready to come on camera. Um, she's trying to get settled in. She said the flight was good and everything. And she's just pretty excited to see what Canada has to offer. So tomorrow we'll be going on the road. We're still not going to see her until she's ready. <laughs> But she look nice. Her smile is very pretty. <laughs> and we're going on the road tomorrow to get her settled in. So Jackie's coming. I don't know already. Um, Jackie, my work mommy. She took the day off um, to come help in getting her settled in. And I think that is really, 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 really nice of her. So we're going to the bank, we're going to Service Canada, we're going to her workplace. Where's we gonna go get our phone sorted out? Bus card. Bus card. Supermarket. I'm gonna me reach a Walmart. Cause I have to return back this year because it just not gonna work out, guys. <laughs> so but I have to return it because it just cannot fit. Really nice microwave, but such is lies. We have to work with what? What um? You know, say this one fix good. <laughs> I say that fix alright. You know, order say that on hook so. Okay. Lean boy. <laughs> Try something here. <sighs> I'm looking at your voice. How is Canada? <laughs> How is Canada? Well, it's good so far. Good so far. Hmm. You said, guys, you oh, come in on one piece of cloak up sweater. Eh? Sweater. I don't know, sweater weather yet. Can you imagine? Sweater, I'm gonna tell you. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> this is the same I don't know. On the wrong side, it's made with one. Could never. I don't know. This one fits perfect. Maybe you are doing it the wrong side. The mega um clean up in here with Kali. Oh, these chairs are so comfortable. Like when I was eating dinner, I sat and I was like, "Whoa, this is a dream." Like when you sit, like the fabric is so comfortable. Because it's padded, I told them that the padded in it, the padding, very comfy, right? And then you can lean back. Too it comfy. It it's more comfy than 
what it seems. So let me pop up my microwave, guys. This is a total hot mess right now. Um, so make a prop one up while we're clean. Enjoy. Some passion, 
full of clothes full of clothes this have clothes dirty clothes whatever her shoes <sighs> this are some bags some more bags full of shoes for Kali <sighs> so my half a girl fix up in here so as you guys know um I'm gonna fix it up but so the guys did a really good job in fitting this up for me um I want to know them there already they're gonna be moved but this is what it's looking like and they really did a good job so i'm gonna get the drawer bins and fill these up accordingly this one of aesthetic or decor at all this is extra storage that is needed i ordered the thing to go over here but in the next vlog i will do that i'm tired now i've been on the road i've been on the road for a good while though i'm tired i'm really tired um so I'm just gonna wind down now for the night. Um, not gonna do any unpacking at all. I'm just gonna take out my clothes and my wear tomorrow. Um, have Lee take out hers, wind down, take a shower, because we're going on the road tomorrow to get Kelly sorted out for school and to get my housemate. Yeah. Okay. Give me a second, guys yeah so as i was saying we're gonna head on the road tomorrow um to do a bunch of stuff as i said to help her get settled i already took the day off tomorrow knowing that she was coming today and knowing that i wanted to be there to assist her and also knowing that from the travel i'm tired you guys see the travel i think so yeah because i'm gonna in i would have inserted the clips of my mini vlog in here tired so so happy so 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 happy that jackie's helping so that eliminates up and down with the bus so we have that to do tomorrow i really want to come home by latest four o'clock five o'clock when we can unwind and prep for the week because i'm working Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. And I need to do Kali's hair on Friday because she has school the following week. So, pretty full week. But this is the end of this vlog. I'll see you guys next week so you guys can see what happened for this week. All right. My clothes out now. Very tired. It was so fun being in Montreal amid the travel up and down and amidst you know philip not being okay um the devil is a liar the devil is a liar the devil the <laughs> devil i really hope that by the time this is published, I can say God heals and things are way better and back to normalcy. It's not even about what I really hope. I'm speaking it into being that by the time I upload this, things will be turning or things have been turning around for good. Now watch me another gloves. Um but my keep on for you know my try to talk to my sister how can I not bring it up, you know? Like, I'm trying not to bring it up, but it is the topic. Like, I'm trying to get our mind off of things, but I can see our mind still on it, right? <sighs> I'm just gonna try to support her as best as I can. Um, it 
Jano, it's a lot on her right now. Um, but it was really good to see them all. It was really good to be there. I didn't get a chance to see Philip at all because my trip was short. It was supposed to be a quick in and out. My tickets were already purchased, you know. <sighs> but Philip, I know when you watch this, God got you. All right? And you have your family and your friends standing to support you, Shelly, and the kids. All right. I'll see you guys next week. I'm going to take my talk a lot. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Um, by the way, Tina just stuck. But I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Tina's wondering if you have two hangers that she can borrow. Actually... guys so one more thing i forgot to mention <clears throat> when i'm gonna remind me for buy the little pillow for kali i do remember a thing so kali is without a pillow so tomorrow i'm gonna to buy three more pillows because i really just have one right now so i'm gonna buy three more because one two three four and then over time we get like a small one at the front guys i don't know watch the sheet remember i'm gonna talk to them about this already this wash every two weeks all right because it's thick right so it wash every two weeks i'm gonna just put it back i keep putting it back i keep putting it back i explain to you guys about the whole duvet and the storage so when you're not about to watch it that's a lot of the same sheets i've put our bed come on no 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 i just keep at this point i was trying to find that comment that someone made i think it was about a heat mattress pad or a heat comforter i'm not really sure however um please comment down below if you know if it's similar to that of a du duvet insert or if it's not all right thank you washing it and reusing it because as me tell you know me i do my thing like a little and for sure i'm gonna get a duvet i'm gonna get a duvet i'm gonna get so i just took this time out to show you guys what a duvet is for those who is not familiar with it but it's basically a comforter it just makes it better in terms of you can it's an insert so you put it inside of a covering so that way you can change the colors you don't have to use the same blanket or have the same comforter all the time you can now get so it's like a pillowcase so you have your pillow so the duvet is a pillow and then your duvet covers are like your pillowcases right you get it so you can get to mix and match change colors that type of thing but it still do what it's supposed to do in terms of a blanket it's a duvet insert and duvet covers and put them in a these the covers them so them stay put or put them up here so you understand so let's see with me let's see with me it feel good yeah. i could sink it and sleep right now <laughs> you feel nice yeah lotion look how much lotion on the dresser Anyways, my grand for real now, guys. Yeah, but they're try on clothes. And Kali said this clothes that I have on is too sexy. So, I'm going to take it off. Thank you, Mom. No.